What's up, everyone? This is Eric KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. Welcome back to the channel. Are you interested in connecting your Zygu X5105 to your computer to use software like this to utilize a real time pan adapter or band scope waterfall, real time, connected to your 5105 cheap, the Ham Radio Concepts way? I'm going to show you in this video. The $25 device and cable that I bought to connect this, the links are in the description below. Because everyone says, Eric, where do I get this? Which one is it? I put two links in the description to what you'll need. It'll cost you $25 shipped to your house. And you can utilize powerful software like this and many others that are available online for free to connect this on your laptop or your home PC to your QRPHF transceiver here. And do just a little bit more than you could with this radio. Now I'll preface it with this. I am not an expert at all when it comes to HDSDR or software defined radio. So I will advise you. The link is in the description to check out the official software. I'm sorry. The official shortwave listener channel on YouTube. I can't remember his name either. But he's got very educational videos and informative videos teaching you how to utilize software like this. Whether you're wanting to use the dongle by itself or to connect it to your ham radio to give yourself a pan adapter, cheap. Check out his channel. It's in the link in the description as well as the link for the two devices or the device and the cable that I bought. And I'll explain that right now in this video. Get you up and rolling and away you go to go out and venture onto YouTube and learn from other people that are more professional at this type of software. Let's get into it. Now this is what I chose to buy. I wanted cheap, but I wanted something that had a little bit of a name behind it because guys, when you're looking for something like this, there's thousands of options. This one seemed to have pretty good reviews from sources I checked online. The RTLSDR.com USB software defined receiver dongle. Now this came on Amazon, $19.99 free shipping, two day shipping with my prime. So I got it in two days. Now about this, uh, we'll show you in a video, the Windows drivers aren't really sufficient in order to get this to work, so keep watching. Now with this, you can use it without this ham radio project and listen to so many different signals from like 1 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, 500 kilohertz, all the way up to 2.4 gigahertz. So it's, it's quite a wide receiver and you know it, you can use it with so many different softwares, okay? So about this, $19, the link is in the description, and it's got an SMA female on it. And a lot of them have SMA females. So this unit here is going to plug into your computer, USB port, USB powered. Now, do you remember, if you're familiar with this radio, the Zygu X5105? You remember this little thing here? You may or may not have known what that was for, the IF out. That is what's going to connect and feed the software defined dongle. And to do that, I also looked online for a cheap cable on Amazon. That was $5.95. It is a little jumper, about six inches. It's got an SMA uh, male on it that's going to screw into the dongle, like such, okay? And on this side is what's called an MCX connector. And I'm not sure I got low lighting in here tonight, but that's an MCX connector. That's an MCX male. And that simply pushes in to the MCX female on the radio, gently without breaking it. And basically you're tapping into your first IF there, which is 70.455 uh, 70, 70 megahertz. So that's what you're going to tune your SDR to. I'll show you that in a second. So a total right here of $25 arriving in two days to my house. Probably worth noting that depending on your software version of your 5105, you want to go into the menu. Mine's under menu 7, IFO, and you want to make sure that's turned to enable. If it's disabled, 
it's not going to work with that port on the side. So make sure you turn on the IFO enable. Now I'm sure there are several places showing you how to set this up and that's fine. Use what's comfortable for you. In fact, the device has a link on there to bring you to their quick setup guide. I didn't use that either. You can. I'll put both links in the description. But this, this one here I just found by Google. And this is a really simple setup to get you up and rolling. Now I'm using Windows 10, 64-bit, and it's working fine. What you want to do is you want to first, when you plug in the unit, Windows might install the drivers automatically, and those are not going to work. So just let it do its thing for a second and come to this page. Now you want to get this first here. There's three links. One here, the Zadig or Zadig link. If you're on Windows XP and you haven't come up to the cusp of technology yet, there's a special XP version here. So you get the Zadig EXE here. You get the HDSDR software here. And you get the DLL file here with these three things. Put them in a folder like this, okay? Now, first you want to open that Zadig file. I don't know how you pronounce that. And it might come up like this and there'll be nothing in here. Even though your USB dongle is plugged in and installed, right? Go up here to Options, List All Devices. Now you'll have a list here. You want to choose on mine and what the site recommends is bulk in interface zero and click reinstall driver and it should reinstall the driver for that so it works appropriately not the Windows driver. When you're done there just close this out. Step one's complete. Then again you're going to go down here install SDR HD SDR file and then when you download that file you'll get something that sounds like that because you didn't follow directions. Close the software. You're not done yet. So you got the software installed. You got the driver installed. You want to get this DLL file, which is here. I put in this folder. And you want to copy and paste this DLL into the root of your HDSDR software. So in my situation, program files, x86, HDSDR, you want to put that DLL file in here, which I've already done. Alright, now you can start your HDSDR software, and at this point, Should be working if you have it set to start at 70.455 megahertz here on the software. So at this point, you're connected. You're set up. And I have a lot yet to learn about this software and how to use SDR software like this with this radio. I know how to use this dongle to receive all kinds of frequencies across the entire spectrum that this thing can handle. But utilizing it with a IF stage on a ham radio and fine-tuning these settings to get this thing really where I want it, got some researching to do. But you're set up. That's the purpose of this video. Hopefully 25 bucks is the cheapest way you can do it. And hopefully you leave a comment below letting me know what you think. If you're an expert, your video's operating this software. And check out the official shortwave listening channel link is in the description along with the link of the devices that I purchased and hopefully down the road you'll see me using this if I'm QRP out in the field again we can uh, elaborate on it more 73 thanks for watching leave your comments below thumbs up for the effort of the video from KJ4 YZI
in both uh, the first and second mixture.